today we are going to take a walk along Regent Road. So how are you all? Hope you are all happy and healthy and safe out there. Yeah, we a little while ago, probably about oh, over a year ago now, for obvious reasons, we walked along here. We walked along Waterloo Road here. And we've done Princess Street as well, done a walk on Princess Street, we've done a walk on Waterloo Road, but we had never done Regent Road. Now, it's a road that probably you'll think there's not much there, but there is. If you look, there's things you can see. Truthfully, the biggest reason you want to come here is for some of the views, but it's, it's again, it's got little hidden gems that you don't want to miss, so I thought we'd maybe take a walk along it today. Just before we get started, if you haven't already, please remember, hit that subscribe button. We are under 300 people away from hitting 10,000 subscribers. It would be incredible if you haven't already, if you could subscribe to the channel and help us get there. But let's take a walk along Regent Road. So this is the start of it right here. It's got a big imposing building, St Andrew's House, on the right hand side, but we're not going to look at that first. One of the easiest things that probably will come in handy for a lot of you is these steps here if you want to go up to the top of Colton Hill because that's Colton Hill right there. We are not going to go up there, we have been up there a couple of times but what I do want to show you is something at the bottom here that again, you don't look, you probably just wonder what it is and walk past it, not even bother about reading it. But this is quite fascinating. This is the first three tenors 1825 to 1886. I'm not sure if that's when all of them were alive in total. But yeah, this is a, a statue to the first three tenors, Wilson Kennedy and uh, Templeton. It's a random little plaque, and what's kind of annoying is there's nothing to read about it, truthfully. But yeah, just in case you're wondering what that is, I'm afraid I can't tell you the history of them off the top of my head. Maybe another time. But yeah. This big, imposing building over here is uh, St Andrew's House. It's actually a, a civil servant building. It's a, it's a government building. Um, but it has a little bit of cool history because this used to be the site of a prison. And apparently one of the worst prisons in Scotland for its inmates. It was apparently a nasty, nasty prison to stay in. There's a couple of these on either side. Straight to work. The outbreak of the war left no time for admiring the new building. The royal opening was cancelled and plans for roof gardens were abandoned. And the reason for that, I've jumped ahead, is up here. St Andrew's House was opened on the 4th of September 1939, less than 24 hours after the outbreak of the Second World War. It remains to this day a bustling centre of government. You can see it's, I mean, that's, that's a while ago, that picture, you know. I don't know if they ever got around to putting a roof garden on it. I don't think they ever did. You can see they're doing some work in it right now, but look at those imposing statues at the top there. Now, if memory serves, those statues at the time represented the different offices of the government. And I can see there's writing above them, so we can see what each of them was. What each of them was, what each of them are. If I can, you know, talk properly. So that one there, I don't know if you can make out the right into the right hand side. Education, he's reading a book. Next one there, fisheries, holding a boat. Next one there, agriculture. See, I think that's a scythe. Next up we have health. Is that a bowl? Is that a bowl? You think it'd be bandages, but no, it's a bowl. Next up we have state and craft, right there. Not sure what that is. And lastly, architecture. I'm not sure what statecraft and architecture. Well, statecraft's obviously just a, a scroll. And architecture, eh, I'm not quite sure. So, although you might think it's maybe not the prettiest of buildings, that is a massive, you know, those statues, proper bit of work in there, you know, especially for the time. It's not something we do now, you know what I mean? So, it's it's. It's a nice feature. I bet it cost a pretty penny for the time, but it's a nice feature. Not exactly a popular building. The plan for the building cost 30 years of squabbling, and there was public outcry as architects and officials argued over the rival proposals. Even the king and queen got involved eventually in 1934. The Paisley born architect, architect? architect Thomas Tate was appointed, and with less than five months to draw up his design, 
it was just a remarkable building you see in front of you. And here we go about the prison, the poor house prisons. This was once the site of Edinburgh's Colton Jail, a grim fortress and the scene of public hangings. The prison was demolished in 1930 to make way for St Andrew's House. By far the worst prison in Scotland. Cold, silent and repellent. Its discipline was harsh and the diet atrocious. Did you know, following the executions, the inmates' bodies were buried in the grounds of the jail. There are murderers beneath St Andrew's House car park to this day. Colton Jail Exercise Yard. The jail was loathed by prisoners and today's building is said to be haunted by those who died there. And if you actually look at it from the other side, if you look at this building from the Royal Mile and down with the rocks below it, although it's a government house now, I mean for a long time I thought it was just the same building. I knew that there had been a prison there. But I thought they'd just turn the prison into that. I didn't, until many, many years later, I realised that they'd rebuilt one there. But it's still an overpowering building. But, like I was saying, one of the main reasons to come to Regent Road is for the views. And already, <laughs> look at that spectacular, spectacular view of Arthur's Seat and Salisbury Crags there. I mean, that's just spec... Oh, it's unbelievable. You forget that this is the middle of the city. I am in the middle of Edinburgh right now, and we've got that right there. It's stunning. I love it. And then if we pan round the other way, you then get this view of Edinburgh Castle. Waverley train station there. This is looking out, that's that's the Royal Mile essentially moving down there. So you actually get a good view of the back side of the Royal Mile as well. It is a beautiful, beautiful spot to come and get some incredible pictures. Jacob's Ladder Steps. Now these were closed for a long, long time, but this is a good little, we're not going to go down them now, but it's a great shortcut if you're wanting to get from here to the Royal Mile. Because people will forget it. A lot of people will probably go to say Colton Hill and then they'll go down to Princess Street and then they'll have to go up the bridge there to get to Colton Hill. But as you can just walk in front of the building, go down these steps, it'll take you underneath the train, the train there and then you just walk up a little bit there, another little bit there, walk up right to the Royal Mill. So it's a nice little handy shortcut. These steps have changed shape a lot. The, the original route of them has changed a couple of times but it is, it's a handy little, handy little shortcut for you. Next up on the left hand side here, you're not going to believe me but this is an old high school. <laughs> it's the old Royal High School building. It's been empty for a long, long, long time. But wait till you see it. I'm sorry, I've got to jump across the other side before we talk about the Royal High. Look at this. As you look down at the, the old graveyard there, I can't remember the name of that church. It's going to annoy me. It's going to annoy me because it's on the Royal Mile. Ah. Oh, it's, oh, it's going to really get my nerves. You can start to see over there that sort of those spikes and, and ropes there. Can you make that out? That's the top of uh, Dynamic Earth. Scottish Parliament, you can start to make out there as well. And you can kind of start to see Holyrood Palace as well. But honestly, this you just come here for the pictures, this part. If nothing else, just come here for the pictures. Look at this. This is the old Royal High School building. Can you believe that that was a school. Can you imagine going to school in that building? Is that not incredible? It's been lying empty for a long, long, long time. It's now um, waiting to find out what's going to happen to it, to tell you the truth. There's an alarm going off behind me somewhere, so I apologise, but look at that. Is that not an incredible building? Yeah, like I said, it's been sitting dormant for a long time. There's a lot of arguments continually going on over what's going to happen with this for a sh for, at one point they did want it to become the Scottish Parliament and you can kind of see why and whilst the Scottish Parliament building was being built, the one that it's now in, I think they used this temporarily um, till that new building was finished now there's, oh, there's a big arguments for what it can be truthfully the biggest thing that's I think people are, are one company's fighting for is to be turned into a hotel um, they were going to build a couple of buildings, one design I saw was they were going to build a couple of buildings either side 
but in the same style, same brick, same style as much as possible so that it would fit in with it. But a lot of people argued against that uh, and that fell through, but they're still fighting for that to happen, the company that, that wanted to go ahead. But look, it's such a waste. It's just sitting there, what a shame. I'd love to go in and have a look. But like I said, can you imagine going to school? Going to school in that building. And you want to know what else just popped in my head? Because that's not an old, that's not a new building, sorry. And the prison used to be there. So can you imagine if, they were, if you were in there and you got in trouble and they just say, you go across the road, I'll send you across the road to the poor house prison. I swear you'll go, do your work. Just you put your head down and do your work. You know what I mean? Or you'll be across there. So yeah, that would have been quite intimidating. But just walking in those doors would be intimidating. Now you head up that way, you get to Regent Park Terrace. We're not going there, I can see an American flag. I think the American Embassy is uh, just there, if I remember correctly. It's probably why there's a big American flag. And here is the Rabbi Burns Monument. 1759 to 1796, Robert Burns. Now I do think, going by the plaque over here, that you used to be able to go in here at some point. But I don't think anyone's been allowed to go in here for a long time. But you know I'll want to go in here now. The Burns Monument. Built 1831 to 1839. This building commemorates Scotland's national poet Robert Burns. And is modelled on the ancient Kuragic? Kuragic? Monument of... Oh, they're, what are they trying to do to me? Lysocrates? Lysocrates in Athens? A key feature is the tripod on top of the monument awarded as a prize for dramatic performance. See, this is why I think you used to be able to go into it here, this part. The monument originally contained a statue by classic sculptor John Flaxman, showing Burns reciting his poem to a mountain daisy. The that... How do you know he's re reciting that poem? He must have always stood that way when he recited that poem. The statue is now in the Scottish National Portrait Gallery on Queen Street. See, there is a wee, there's a wee stone path up to it, but it is locked. I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen that open. It's a shame. I would love, love, love to go in there at some point. As you start to head down now, there's not a massive amount on apart from the views. So, you know, we've got to show you the views. And then here. Um, we have the new Colton Burial Ground right in here. Now we have been in there a couple of times, most recently when I was doing the three things you might not realise were listed because um, that graveyard is listed. You can see right there one of the towers that were to prevent people from grave robbing still standing right there. Again, if you come in this way it's a great way to go in and then if you cut down if you go through that graveyard, go right down, you're at the bottom of uh, the Royal Mile essentially. You can see right there, Hollywood Palace. If you were here, it's a great little cut through whilst en enjoying the peaceful tranquility of the graveyard. Peaceful tranquility. Listen to that, getting all posh and fancy now. You've got to be out there going, Tony, listen to those words you're saying. You're getting all posh and fancy. Don't worry, I'm not getting posh and fancy. No, you are You used words like tranquility. No, don't worry. It just happened to what came into my noggin. And you can see there already the graveyard behind the wall. Again, you've just constantly got this incredible view of Arthur's seat. And then you can start to look out. I know you can't really see probably on the camera, but from here I can start to see the Firth of Forth out there and see. It's the thing is, oh, look at this. This is the centre of town. It is the centre of town. Princess Street is just behind me and yes I know it's 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 an odd time in the world right now but this is still always as quiet as this. It's a lovely place, it's a lovely route to come to see some things that you might miss little bits like that especially if you're going to go up Calton Hill which you're probably going to do there's a couple of nice you can go up Calton Hill come along this way most people are going to go back down Princess Street that's what they're going to do they're going to go Calton Hill then they're going to go back to Princess Street well. come this way enjoy some of this and then cut through the graveyard and go down the Royal Mile or cut through the graveyard and get to Holyrood, pa Holyrood Palace or, or Arthur's Seat, you know what I mean? It's, it, there's, it, it's a route that most people are going to avoid. You can take your time and enjoy the peace and quiet. That's what I'm here for. You're welcome. <laughs> you know, you could come here, sit in the park and enjoy that view 
have a cup of coffee, have a cup of tea, a sandwich. Look at that. You can see there's the top of Holyrood Palace right there. That's what that is. There's the Scottish Parliament right there and then you've got that. How could you not want to just come here and relax? All these little spots that you might miss. Let's have a look and just see what this little thing is here because it's, it's, it's curious to me. I'm, I'm, I'm curious. This is Regent Road Park, by the way, just in case you didn't get that. So there's a park on Regent Road. Oh, what's this? So I have gathered unto myself all the loose ends of Scotland and by naming them and accepting them, loving them and identifying myself with them, attempt to express the whole. Hugh McDermott. That's nice. This is it's just, just a kind of like a contemplation circle here. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. These are stones from different parts of Scotland. Look at that. So you've got the Western Isles, Argyll and Butte, Stirling, Western Bartonshire, Eastern Bartonshire. So you can see every stone here is from a different part of Scotland. That's brilliant. That's really cool. Oh, I love that. That's just a nice, gentle monument. Isn't that nice? See that? Blinking you would have missed that. You'd walk past that really easily and not, not even bother checking it out. I like that. That's a nice, gentle monument. We're kind of almost at the end now. But again, so still some beautiful views. Right here, it looks like there's a bowls. Green, not bowling, not temping bowling. Bowls. So just as we get to the end here, if you if you do happen to come all the way down and you want to wonder, want to wonder? See, one minute I'm using fancy words, next time I can't speak English. You stand, if you, if you go up this path here, up this road here, not down that one. If you go down that one, you'll get to Easter Road. If you go up this one, Carlton Terrace Bray, and just follow all the way along, that'll take you to the very top of Leith Walk. So, you know, that's a, it's a good cut across and actually a very nice house. And then if you go down that way, Abbey Mount, that'll take you to um, Holyrood Palace, right there. It'll take you past the Queen's Bath House, which we've been to. But So, again, that's a nice little cut through as well. Not the prettiest of roads, but it is a good cut through. There you have it, a nice little walk along Regent Road. Hope you enjoyed that today, guys. It's beautiful and peaceful. It's so lovely and quiet. And out for my exercise today, I have to say, it's been really nice. There's no one round about me, so I, I've been able to stop and take a breath. I don't know if you can see, but uh, around about there as well, I can make out St. Anthony's Chapel and everything. That's a beautiful view. Anyway, yeah, yeah, this has been a lovely little walk. No one round about me. Even though restrictions are starting to lift here, it's still, you know, it's always in the back of your head and I've just been able to take my time and enjoy a peaceful walk. And if you're going to come here, you'll be able to do that at any time. Even once the world gets back to normal, it's going to be nice and quiet walk along here. And you're going to be able to get to two other areas or three other areas from here as well that you might not realise. You'll think you'll be walking out of town, but you're not. You can walk down here. Cut that way, cut the other way, I told you, get down to the Royal Mile or Holyrood Palace. Cut that way, get to Leith Walk. So there's, 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 you're not that far from anything if you want to come along and enjoy this bit. Anyway, I think we'll leave it there for today. If you've enjoyed it, guys, as always, um, leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, uh, leave a like. That's all the same thing, a thumbs up and a like, but you know. Uh, and if you haven't already, please, please, please remember to hit that subscribe button. It would genuinely mean the world. But keep yourself safe out there. Until next time. Bye humans.